Welcome to Disc TV's coverage of the final nine holes of the 2002 Whitcomb Classic here in Beminster, England. I'm Brian Sullivan. With me is the British Disc Golf Association's Derek Robbins. Derek, let me set this up here. We have a tie for the lead between the two Americans, Sean Sinclair and former world champion Greg Hosfeld. Then we have the Swedes. Trailing by 10 is Emil Isaacson. Trailing by 17 is Pierre Christofferson. How do you see this final nine washing out? Well, obviously it's close now, and I think it's going to stay pretty close. Um, the edge may be with Sean because Greg has been over here in England and he hasn't competed so much recently. But the key really is going to be how these players work the disc. There's big slopes on this Whitcomb course, and if you haven't got the control, if it fades out too early, you go down the slope and then you can be in big trouble. There's lots of big hedges around here. So that, I think, will be the key. Who can control the flight of the disc best? It's going to be an exciting finish. Let's get out to the first tee pad. And it is go time, the final nine holes of the 2002 Whitcomb Classic here in Bimster, England. I'm Brian Sullivan with Derek Robbins. Our finalists, Greg Hausfeld and Sean Sinclair, the two Americans, tied up, followed by Emil Isaacson of Sweden. He is 10 strokes out of the lead, and Pierre Christofferson from France is 14 strokes out. On the first tee, Greg Hausfeld. That's 507 feet out, and he has ripped a long one there, Derek. Yeah, it looks to be a uh, little on line there. It's a little bit lower the basket, but uh, you'll have a safe uphill putt. Not a lot of hazards on this hole, and these players can grip and rip. Here's Sean Sinclair on the pad. And he's out there with a hyzer shot. Looking good there, Derek. Yeah, that's looking good. He's above the basket, a shorter putt, a little bit downhill. Third on the pad, we have Emil Isaacson out of Sweden. As I mentioned, he has 10 strokes out in the lead. Should be tough for him to find his way to first place. But he can throw them out there. Yeah, another good long shot. Again, he's, he's got a downhill putt from there. And finally on the pad, it's Pierre Christofferson. He's in Sweden. I misspoke earlier and said he was from France. Incorrect. He made a big jump up the leaderboard in the last round today. It's coming left. And yeah, that's going to be a play. Safely pitched. Good start for all the players here. Hasfeld, a former world champion has about 35 feet to the basket. Uh, he's just missed right. We have such a beautiful view from this hole looking over at Bimster, England. This has got to be, Derek, the most beautiful course in the world. It's just incredible. The bit most beautiful I've seen, that's for sure. Here's Christofferson from 25. Yeah. Ooh. Nailed that one. And Christofferson with the first deuce of our final nine. Here's Sinclair. He can take the lead with the deuce. And he does. No problem at all. Sinclair been putting very well all weekend long. And finally, here's Emil Isaacson. The other Swede in our foursome, and that's a deuce for him as well. So one par, and Hosfeld is going to second place behind Sinclair, followed by Isaacson and Christofferson. We arrive at hole two, 594 feet. This is a tricky hole. It's a vista shot, but there's a hill that falls off to the left, and a hyzer shot could end up way down into the shoal as Sinclair drives and turns it over. And that he needs that to turn left. And I don't know if it had quite enough height. He may be short. We'll have to wait and see. The basket is over the crest of the hill, slightly to the left, near the trees to the back of this hole. So it is tricky, and the crosswind here at about five miles an hour is not going to make things any easier as Isaacson steps up. Oh, 
Man is heading for trouble. He's turned that right over. He, the good news is he's, I think he's probably still out in the open, but he won't have a sight of the basket, and that's a tough upshot. Isaacson may be a little nervous. Earlier today, he crushed this hole and had an easy deuce. It was a beautiful shot. Now on the pad, it's Pierre Christofferson from Sweden. Currently sitting in fourth place. And he's hit trouble. I don't know whether that's dropped or not. We haven't seen it come out of the bottom of that hole. And if he did drop down, it's still not going to be an easy fly to play from. So finally, after the three on our first hole, here is Greg Hosfeld from the United States. He and Sinclair have been battling all weekend long for the lead and ended up knotted in a tie after regulation. Yeah. And that one maybe that could go up. left. If that goes left, he's in big trouble. Yeah. That's looking ugly. And Ow. indeed, Derek, that is going to be trouble. Looks like you went into the deep shul. So Isaacson is away, and he still has a good 380 feet to go, but this is downhill. Wind's dropped, so that will help. He may come up short. And he's going to find himself about 40 short. Christopherson catching a lucky break. He finds himself on the other th side of this thick, nasty tree, so big break there. Yeah, that could easily have stayed up. He's fortunate to have a shot here. And he also, at about 380 feet from the pin, going downhill and falling off left. You still have to be careful of the hyzer. He's going to be going left there, short and left. So Sinclair back at his lie. He has 200 feet to go. Keeps it nice and low. Sit down. Well, that was yeah, a beauty. That's a beautiful shot. That's a tough shot too. Hosfeld with a long way to go on this putt, probably 60 feet after the very nice out from deep in the shore. He's been putting well this weekend. Putting uphill, you'll find that a little easier. He's too low. So here's Isaacson. 4-3 from 40 feet away. Very slight breeze at the moment. That shouldn't bother him one bit. Very close, but just low. Over the course of the last couple of days. May also be a little bit of nerves there, I think, as well. So here's Christofferson. Another 40 foot putt for him as well. He had the height, but no chains. Here's Sinclair for his third shot, and if he's successful, it'll mean a two stroke lead. There it is. Yeah, no problem. Nice three for Sinclair on this very long and very difficult hole. Christopherson from 20 feet, no problem. no problem. And that's going to be four for the young Swede. A four for Isaacson as well, and Hosfeld with the short putt will make it a four. So Sinclair now up by two over Hosfeld and leads by 11 over Isaacson, 15 over Christopherson. Hole five now, 348 feet. Fairly wide open, although there is a fence about three fifths of the way down this hole. Here's Isaacson. Big hyzer shot. Yeah, this hole is called uh, Mind the Bees. I think that's one of the local hazards. I believe the bees nest is in that large, I think it's an oak tree out in the distance, right at the basket. Uh, thank you for letting us all know that there, Derek. 
as our leader Sinclair steps up. He parked this one earlier in the weekend. That's a beautiful looking drive. Just coming, fading left. Well, that's that's going to be real to close. That's a great shot. Fantastic shot from Sean Sinclair, and it looks like he may be a right way with this one, Derek. Here's Hussfeld. Doesn't have a huge arm. We're gonna probably see a 360 turnaround shot here. Looks a little low. He's through the fence. Oh, he might yeah. have been low, but that looked like a beauty from here. Yeah. I think he's going to be a little short, but that was a good throw. And we haven't seen uh, too many sheep on the holes that we've been playing so far, Derek. This is a an organic sheep farm, and the sheep just roam where they may. That's right. There's actually two flocks on this uh, course, and so we do need to keep the gates shut because they don't like to get them mixed up. Christopherson off to the right. So Christopherson will find himself away, and he's probably 120 feet downhill to the basket, and no hazards in the way. There's that kiss for luck. It's a positive throw, but he's high. He got a he's little aggressive there. And now Sinclair from about 35 feet, and he's feeling confident. There's a good chance it's gonna go in. He's overconfident, he, too much on that. Sinclair has been showing that he does have a great big arm this weekend. He's been out distancing pretty much the entire field this weekend. Some of the uh, Swedish players uh, can also throw it a country mile, but Sinclair clearly has the whole game going this weekend. And this is a crucial putt now for Greg. If he's gonna come back, he needs to get this in. Hosfeld currently trailing by three. He could make it two with a hit here. Not gonna happen. And after another great drive, Emil Isaacson of Sweden. Oops, I'm sorry, it's Pierre Christopherson out first from 25 feet. Yeah, very confident putt. Nice flat shot right into the chains. And Emil Isaacson now after the crush drive for a deuce. And that's good. And that's going to be our that only deuce of the hole. Center chains. And the battle rages on. Three holes to go at the Whitcomb Classic here in the south of England. And the battle for the lead between the two Americans, Sean Sinclair and Greg Hosfeld, who trails by two. This on the pad is Emil Isaacson of Sweden on a hole that is 411 feet downhill. That could be trouble. He's gone left early. And there's even out of bounds if he goes too far left. He may have gone. It will be the basket is down to the left, tucked in among some trees, and there's a stream that is out of bounds directly behind the basket. So it is tricky once you get up to the green. Yeah, the ideal shot here is to just go parallel to the trees on the right, have the disc fade left towards the basket right at the end. And a slight headwind kicking up on this beautiful, beautiful hole. As Hosfeld is That's more like it. Toward the basket. That's He's right down there. Looks like he's going to be just short uh, under the trees, and he should be putting. Well, it's just unbelievable the view we're getting from so many of these holes, including this one, as Sinclair steps up. He took a bogey on this hole in the final round. So this is that flight I said he's going straight, and now wants it to come left, and it's doing so. If he has the right distance, he'll be well placed. And the you can't tell from there. Gallery below clapping, so that one did not end up in the stream. And finally on the pad, it is Sweden's Christopherson. 
Oh, he's overpowered that, turned it right. Here's Christopherson from the thick. He's got 180 feet to go, and he's got to be aware of that stream behind the basket. Oh, my, what a shot! That was a great shot. In and out of the chains. Oh, so close. That was beautiful. And now the other Swede, Isaacson, finds himself safe and in bounds, although he does have a low ceiling of trees and branches to work his way through before he can get to the basket. And he can't go too far on this. The stream is right behind. There's a slope just two meters from the basket. And Derek, what do you think he's going to play here? Is he going to take Looks like he's doing a forehand shot here. He's just going to put it maybe to the left of the trees. Oh. Lights his way through and he's going to I do believe he was just using the trees to just stop the disc. And now Sinclair, he also has to deal with a very low ceiling as he's at the edge of the stream and he just lays it up. Yeah, he couldn't go for it there. There's no room. This will be a tricky putt for Hansfeld. He's got that same low ceiling, but trees as well to get around. If he can manage the deuce, he will be within one stroke of the lead. And he's yeah. done it! A fantastic deuce from Hansfeld. What a putt! Great shot. He had very little room to work with there. The branches were pretty low on that hole. And Sinclair from the uh, back of the stream for a three. No problem there. Here's Isaacson, also for a three. And that one is good. Christofferson will drop in, and now it's Sean Sinclair by one stroke over Greg Hosfeld. Emil Isaacson trails by eight, and Christofferson yeah. trailing by 17. And this is it, our final hole. A Glagong dip, 498 feet over water. Basket is tucked in across the fence on the other side yeah. of the water. It's just over that gate. This needs to turn left. It's starting. Has it come too late? That could be difficult down there. And Hosfeld finds himself off the fairway yeah. and down in the woods on the right side. This is one of those holes where anything can happen. Sinclair now just wants to hang on to his lead. And his shot is off. He's straightening up nicely. He's gonna hit that far bank and he stays up. That's good. He was right on line with the basket and just dropped a little low, but he's gonna be real happy with that shot. And now Christofferson. It's coming left too early. He's going to hit the trees. Now he just needs to stay up. He's up. So he's dry and in the shul on the left side. It'll be a little bit of work for his approach as well. There is, but he's fortunate that because there's a steep bank there and you can easily just roll back into the water. And finally here is Isaacson. That's looking good. It just holds that line. Oh, oh my! It looked was... like he was going to clear the fence and he yeah. got knocked down early. <laughs> <laughs> he is in the water and the gallery is giving him the official duck sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard world out there. <laughs> so Emil Isaacson will play from the front side of the pond. He didn't make it across, therefore his lie is a little farther away than he'd like. It's about 120 feet. Get out. Christofferson finds himself with a very difficult approach out of the shoal for a second shot. And he has been trying to find the line here, Derek. And he's found it. He certainly he's found did. It. <laughs> that was great. That was wow. Great. He's got to hit vegetation on the way out, but hopefully it's quite light and he can still get to the basket. He does not want to get in trouble here. And he's not going to get out of there. That's going to cost Greg Hosfeld. 
And as we said, anything can happen here on the Gula Gong Dip. As Hosfeld is off chase. And this will be not only for Deuce, but the victory for Sean Sinclair. And the American comes to England and he is taking away the first place trophy this year. It's an excellent display of golf all week. He's played really well. And well this, deserved. this would not be the first time that the Gula Gong Dip has changed things in the end. That's happened many times. And this is going to be for a bogey after the penalty stroke. And a fine third place finish for Emil Isaacson of Sweden. Christofferson with the tap in. And it's a fourth place finish for him. So the two Swedes. Third and fourth, and the Americans first and second as Greg Hostel drops it in. He's going to go home second place this week, and a terrific event all around this weekend. Yeah, I think everyone's had a great time this, this weekend. So Sean Sinclair is the winner of the 2002 Whitcomb Classic. Derek Robbins, wow, what a finish. Yeah, great finish there. It was, uh, it was Sean that got off to a great start, and uh, Greg fell behind in the first few holes. And that's where I think he really lost it. He came back strong at the end, but uh, he really needed to pull out something pretty magical in this last hole. And, uh, he, he was struggling, and then he did, as you say, you know, came back. It was within yeah. one stroke in the last hole, and then the Gulagong dip did him in. It did. It was a great finish for the spectators, and they love it. They love this hole. There's been so much happened in the past few years. Some involving me. I've had my moments here too. <laughs> Derek Robbins, thank you for your help this weekend. And Disc TV will be right back. Disc golf is the new outdoor sport for the entire family. This environmentally friendly game is now being enjoyed by hundreds of thousands of players on over 1,200 courses worldwide. For the past 25 years, the Professional Disc Golf Association has been there, guiding disc golf into the future. The PDGA is an international nonprofit member organization that serves both professional and amateur disc golfers. The Professional Disc Golf Association, guiding disc golf into the future. Let's talk with this weekend's winner. He's Sean Sinclair. Sean, another big win in what's been an incredible year for us. Thank you. This was absolute magical place to play golf. I said from the get-go, whether I came in first or last, it didn't matter. This weekend, this place is just heaven to play golf. You went into the final nine, <laughs> tied up with former world champion Greg Hosfeld. Did you have a game plan going in? Uh, game plan was channel the nerve so I wasn't freaking out, play my game, not worry about what he was doing. And right off the bat, first three holes, I jumped three strokes on him and then had a couple unfortunate shots. And he got back within one going into the last hole and I managed to fend him off. That last hole, anything can happen. And as you say, you only were leading by one. What were you thinking? Last hole, I'd been throwing an overstable disc. It's over the water, very crazy hole, trees in front of the basket. Just wanted to make it safe, so I changed up to a straighter disc. I had the luxury of watching him first and go down the hill, relax a little more and just throw as straight as possible, not be in the water, not hit any trees, and it worked out okay. A great weekend of disc golf, Sean, and we're looking forward to seeing you next weekend in Stockholm. Thank you. Disc TV is brought to you in part by the Professional Disc Golf Association, guiding disc golf into the future. Maceman Disc Golf Gear, expect the best. And by DiscLife.com, the world leader in disc golf. And that will do it from Beminster, England, where Sean Sinclair is the winner of the 2002 Whitcomb Classic. Next week, we continue on the Euro Tour. We're in Stockholm, Sweden for the Stockholm Open. And join us online anytime at DiscTV.DiscLife.com where you can order tapes of the show and find out how to send us tapes from your course. For this TV, I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you next time.